Coming up uh, in a few minutes, we're going to hear some ideas from three different teams of young entrepreneurs, Shark Tank, uh, Tank style. I'm going to bring Jace Bro back in. Oh, yeah, just sit right there. Yeah. There you go. You all good? <laughs> She's back. All right. <clears throat> Sorry. A little girly this morning. Three teams get 30 seconds to pitch their ideas to us and to you at home because you get to vote on who should win. This is all called Commercial Cage, and it's part of a program at Computer Systems Institute, which has five campuses around the Chicago area. All right, and joining us now to explain the program and how it works is Academic Dean and Program Coordinator Melissa McCarter. So good morning and welcome. Good morning, thank Sorry you. Sorry about our little guest over no, here. No, I yes. love him. He's like, he's climbing all over you. I think he loves yeah, you I and wants you to tall. take him home. Right. It's so, so, so we have this huge program. We can't wait to you know hear more about it. But first, if you could tell us a little bit about Computer System uh, Institute, Computer Systems Institute. Sorry thank about that. Thank you. Uh, we're here from Computer Systems Institute's international program. Mm -hmm. We have two sides of the school. Our side of the school focuses on giving English speaking skills and business professional skills to our students from all over the world. We have students from over 90 countries. Wow. And so today we have members of our small business administrator class. They've been working on this project all quarter. Mm -hmm. um, at CSI we really focus on collaborative learning. And so they've worked in teams to develop business plans with instructor Leslie Andrews. Mm -hmm. And they presented them to a panel of experts, a la Shark Tank, right. just last week, and got feedback. So they're back again today to present their elevator pitches for you. Okay. okay. So how did this whole idea start to do this type of class? Because this is a pretty this is pretty advanced for any kind of student to be able to go through a business plan so that they can actually end up with, you know, maybe funding for a business. Yes, and I think our students have a unique um, range of experience and education, so for them, um, we felt very confident in giving them the chance to sort of be creative and work together. So I think that any sort of hands-on team aspect of learning, project-based learning, mm -hmm. it's the real deal. It's not something that's um, removed or um, abstract. It's, mm -hmm. it's legitimate and it's a real experience for them. And the networking end of things is also very special. Right, and it that's takes them too. into the real world, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about any success stories yet? Has uh, you know anybody reached out to a big company and they've gotten noticed and funding or anything like that? So far we're still in the initial stages and that is something that makes it so exciting is that we're giving them this platform and this um, visibility, you could say. Um, so we're just really proud of the progress they've made so far and that's mm -hmm. kind of what this is about the next step okay now how long what is your ultimate goal for this class just to keep doing it and generate uh, possibly uh, funding for these these young people who are presenting their projects or, or help them find it absolutely we're kind of we have two goals um, the goal was always as I said to hone the English speaking skills to develop that poise and confidence right. they also went through a reflective process of sort of breaking down how did the commercial cage event go um, what can we still work on both in terms of the business plan and in terms of their themselves as professionals in mm -hmm. in the United States yeah. so I think those are always the end goals but what is amazing is that some of these ideas do come to fruition so I think we're waiting to see exactly how that plays out. Now is anybody worried about putting the ideas out there and then because that's the thing too you, yeah. if you're an inventor we talk about things all the time We're like uh -huh. oh save it save it. <laughs> Are any of these students worried about you know putting the idea out there and then having it you know stolen? One of the coolest parts of the class is that you have people who come in and stumble upon an idea very quickly and then you have other people who sort of sit on the sidelines or I don't want to say they're going through the motions but um, they sort of come upon that idea later or it's something they have been sitting on uh, right. it's their little nest egg and then all of a sudden they realize why wouldn't I just go for it so I think we've done so much prep and really I have to give a huge shout out to the instructor Leslie Andrews for just coaching them and helping them develop their real voice as she says so okay. I don't think anybody's worried about that um, it's more a feeling of pride 
Good. Yeah. Good. Okay. And and the thing is, once you put it out here in this situation, people can always go back and say on right here, September fourteenth on, 14th, that, day. on right. that day. So thank you for joining yeah, us this you. morning. We're thank excited. you for bringing your students. And here's the thing: we're going to hear the ideas from the commercial cage students coming up next. So stay with us for all that. Yeah, and you're going to get to actually vote, and we're going to hear these ideas. I love that idea. Yeah. And if you would like to find out more about Commercial Cage and Computer Systems Institute, all you have to do is visit csinow.edu. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you Can't so much. Wait. Dr. Simon Pechulano, founder of Salvation Medical Rescue Mission for Africa, a faith-based, a faith-based. Uh, a, a, a non-profit organization dedicated to meeting the spiritual and medical needs of the poorest communities in Africa. We have been in, we have 12 years experience in over 400 communities and we have accountable partners dedicated to meeting the needs of. Aww. Aww. Well, we still got a good idea. I yeah, mean, I got a good idea got, of what you did. You said doctor, and I'm in. I don't know. All right, <laughs> how much money do you actually need, uh, doctor, to generate success with this program? What, what are you looking for from us? Well, I need about a million dollars. Oh, a million. Okay. Yep, I need a million dollars. Uh, we don't yeah, we, we all. I, I, Okay. But this is for a very good cause. All right, and how many people are you trying to reach if you raise that amount of money? Well, we, we're trying to reach about 10 million people because day two, we, we're just trying to... No, that one million we just initiate something that will have a ripple effect. Ah, okay. So it's about starting small and, and rippling out. All right. Well, thank you so much, sir. We appreciate it. If you liked Meta Rescue, remember to vote on our Facebook page with hashtag MediRescue. That's hashtag M-E-D-I-R-E-S-C-U-E. -E -E. And you can also learn a little bit more about MediRescue uh, on our page, too, as well, because we obviously only in 30 seconds. Yeah, it's, it's not a lot of time. So we have uh, our next idea, our next business idea. It's called Go Food. It's an online food delivery delivery service and we have our next two team members who are here if you'd go ahead please and introduce yourselves uh, my name is Jiga Sharma let's okay, have you yeah, come, come a little right bit to closer the to the mic <laughs> yeah don't be scared we won't bite. Phone. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Jiga Sharma okay Sanya Khan when we phone okay all righty then so tell us about your program we get up and 30. ready go good morning my name is Jiga Sharma and we are go foods yeah we believe in eating healthy being healthy and staying healthy we, our food is scientifically balanced with pro proteins, carbohydrates, and fat. Yes, we do deliver within 30 minutes. And our food is fully organic vegetables, so we support our local markets. So we buy food from local farmers. Yeah, we are good foods. We believe in eating healthy, being healthy, and staying healthy. Okay. All righty then. Oh, look, you did it in under 30 right, seconds. We that. didn't get that. <laughs> All right, so your, uh, your Go Foods product is about food delivery service. Do you already have a system in place that will be able to deliver the food in the time that you promised? Yes, we do. Yes, and we, do. we also have a tracking system so you can track your food where, when it's on the way to you. Oh, that's wow. always good. And I getting like organic food and healthy food. And then how wide is your area that we're talking about for delivery? Is it all of Chicagoland or where? Right now, we are only focusing on the Chicago like the loop and all. Okay. But in future, we are gonna have more franchises now, franchises. Okay. So, we. So it's we will, expandable. Yeah, from yeah, from the model you have now. You, yeah. Okay. okay. All right, then, well, if you liked idea right. number two, thank you, gentlemen, uh, you can head on over to our Facebook page and vote with the hashtag GoFood. Now we have our third and final pitch, which is a company called ASA, and that does web development and a whole lot more. And we have our next two team members. So go ahead, please, if you can introduce yourselves. My name is Sayyid Mohammad Wasil Zama. My name is Samuel Medikonda. It's okay. nice to meet you, yeah, gentlemen. Nice Are you. you ready to do your pitch for ASA? Yes. yes. All right, go. Good morning, my name is Samuel Merikonda. I'm here to represent ASA Tech. ASA Tech, let the world know your business. At the ASA Tech, we build interactive and responsive websites. We have customized patented templates to meet your business market. At ASA Tech, the best thing is that we provide 24-7 customer service. If you have an amazing market, we have an awesome product. Remember, at ASA Tech, let the world, world know your business. Know your business. Oh, okay. well, let the good. world know your business. I like that. Let the world know your business. <laughs> good tagline. Okay, so I heard that good. you guys have a goal of $200,000. Do you have a plan if you don't reach that total goal, some way to implement it before yes, that point? Point? 
Yes. Okay. So what's kind of the minimum that you need to... We're initially looking for a funding, which is $100,000. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we would take it from there. And then are you hoping to be bought out by a larger owner, or is this something you want to take on your own and make public? No, no. we don't want to barter. Oh, yeah, you are. You don't yeah. want to... Oh, you're not going to barter with us? No. No, okay, because Gina and I were hoping to invest, but if you're all good, then you go for it. They shut us down yeah, on like, that one. <laughs> Listen, right. thank you, gentlemen. We appreciate you, it. And yes. if you think their web development idea is your favorite and the one that is will be most successful, remember to vote for hashtag ASA Tech. That's hashtag ASA Tech. All right. Now, you've heard all three commercial cage pitches. If you missed them, again, they'll be posted on our Facebook page soon. You can watch them again. You can vote online for the one that you like the best and get some more information, too, on, uh, you know, what each one is really about. That's right. Remember to use the appropriate hashtag for each, uh, each group uh, that you want to vote for. They're up on your screen right now. Hashtag MediRescue. This is to help poor, the poor in Africa with health care and spiritual needs. Hashtag MediRescue. For the online delivery food service of organic goods, goods rather, hashtag go food. And for the web development company ASA, use hashtag ASA Tech. We're going to be tallying the votes throughout the show until our 8 o'clock hour. We will reveal the winner right before 9 o'clock. I'm do kind of excited. I'm excited, too. We want to reiterate that these are all students from the Computer Systems Institute. And right. so they're out here and really making their pitches. It's kind of it's the, uh, an exciting first time thing to be on television and doing something like yeah. that. So please vote and help it's them 8 out. It's 8.56. So we've been waiting all morning long, counting up the votes. Earlier in the show, three groups of students pitched their great ideas to us Shark Tank style in our version of it called Commercial Care. It's a real program at the Computer Systems Institute. And it was pretty hard to decide, but we've counted all the votes, and it is now time to reveal who won the most votes on our Facebook page. If we can have a drum roll, please. <laughs> yes. It is Team ASA Tech. ASA Tech, congratulations. Samuel and Syed are here, and you won. People loved yeah. your idea. <laughs> How's that feel? Yay. Awesome. Yeah, because that means if people are interested in it, then they'll use it, which means, woohoo, money right. coming in the door. Yeah, yeah. You so, two didn't know each other before no, you were at no. school, right? No. So now we said, are you going to continue on with this program now that you've met? You've developed this, you know, this idea together, yeah. yes? yes? Yes, we you would are. work um, on the startup and then we would provide jobs for more people like us. And oh, yeah, that's get a wonderful. Place. Now, we, do have, we didn't have the money to fund your program, but we did have some <laughs> we didn't have the $200,000, right. to say thank you oh. to both of you. Here you go. Um, for appearing on the show and sharing your ideas. And we do wish you the best yeah. of luck yeah. in your uh, future endeavors. We can't see what, what happens next. I can't wait to see what happens next for you, because this yeah. it's a really good idea. Right, it's a great idea. I mean, and do you think in the future, like how quickly do you think in the future maybe we get this done? We're ready to start. Any oh, you're ready to start any minute. So. We got everything. Yeah. Okay. You know what, who knows, there might be somebody watching right now. I was now just going to say that. Who has, you know, some money, you maybe a couple knows. people are like, you know what, this is yeah. a great idea. Right. Web development at a low cost mm -hmm. with 24-7 support. Because mm -hmm. that's the thing, it's like if you pay low, you don't always have the support. So if you guys can figure that one out, you got yeah. a customer right here. I was here. just going to yeah. say, I, you yeah. absolutely would have a customer over here. So you got two. Okay, cool. So they're starting. Yeah. If you would like to learn more, though, about the Commercial Cage program or get involved, visit the Computer Systems Institute at csinow.edu. Maybe you have an idea and you just want to take this class and try to work mm -hmm. it out and see what happens.